AM 1220, this is KHTS, your hometown station. Good afternoon, Rick G. And for Aaron Delatore this afternoon, with a special guest in studio, Jessica Hartley. How are you, Jessica? I'm great. How are you? Good to see you today. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us live on the air. Thank you. So, Jessica, you know, relationships can be tough. Everybody's gone through it. And what you do is you are able to help people, especially when they're coming out of a divorce, which is such a tricky time, such a tough time. You help them kind of get their game back, get their get their head space in the right in the right mental space, I guess. Right. Yeah. You know, there's you know, relationships are so complicated. And as we go through the years, we end up. Uh, facing different challenges and we start growing and start gaining new perspectives of ourselves and the world around us and if we're not uh prepared to really um be able to handle those things then you know we find ourselves in conflict and sometimes those things start to separate us and bring us apart so that's why i step in and and really give my clients the tools to not only repair or save the relationship, but I teach them how to thrive, you know, right. and keep going in the long haul and to have it be something that fuels them and, and their world. Well, I think, you know, something like divorce can be so tough and challenging because it feels like the end of your world and it feels so personal and it feels so internal. But I guess there's a, a universal, um, you know, quality to it that is a constant. So I'm sure by talking to these different clients, you've uh, gotten to see some of the issues that arise time and time again in these divorces. What are some of the major pitfalls or some of the things that drive people towards these uh, situations? Well, if I was going to label it as one thing, it's it's a feeling of being taken for granted. Hmm. And that happens in different forms. You know, so sometimes it's, you know, um, just a, just a loss of the friendship. Um, sometimes it's a loss of the sexual relationship, um, where kids come in the mix and then, you know, they lose each other slowly over time. Um, other times there's infidelity, um, happening. And, uh, I would say these are the norms. I think it's funny because a lot of people think that money is usually one of those big things. Yeah, because that's kind of like the big headline you see over and over in surveys and things. Money is the thing that drives people away, but. I really don't believe that, not not when my clients um, come to the table. You know, I think that that's something that's, you know, it can be a trigger as to leading to a conflict, but that's not really the heart of the matter. Right, yeah, a lot of times in relationships especially, relationships are the perfect kind of breeding ground to be able to kind of push onto something else the actual issue that is going on. Instead, you blame it on money, you blame it on something else, but it's all about the internal mechanics of the dynamic of the relationship. Right, which is what kind of sets me apart is makes me unique because when I get to work with a, a specific client we go into who they are so sometimes I'm working with just the individuals sometimes I work with a couple together but even then I, I sort of just hone in on the the man and then I hone, hone in on the women and we have one-on-one material that we work through to really make sure that we get to the heart of the matter. Because if we just focus entirely on the relationship dynamic or, you know, me trying to help them navigate through some specific conflict, Mm. it's all surface level and it's not really going to get somewhere. It's all speaking to like a deeper issue. And and, and is a deeper issue a lot of the times uh, something that they've carried on from previous relationships, from even from childhood, and it's now manifesting and affecting their relationship. Absolutely. So we were making you know a joke. It's kind of like the movie Hitch, right? Yes. So it's yes. like so. What what can somebody expect when they come to you and uh, start to get this kind of coaching? Well, you know, it, like that movie, um, Will Smith character, his character kind of goes in and helps his client to um, win the the heart of this woman that he was attracted to. Mm-hmm. And so I kind of play that role where I come in and it's just a different setting to where I'm either working closely with the husband or the wife or sometimes both. And I help them to do, say, be from the heart, from the, the core of who they are, yeah. what it takes to really have success in relationship. And, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, I have a few clients that have that come to me after divorce is already going to happen no matter what. Right. And I help them kind of learn from what went wrong, mm-hmm. um, up level themselves and then get back in the game. You know, so, uh, there's that approach too, but typically I am working with those couples or one individual, you know, because sometimes one person or one partner is already at the door, right. you know, sometimes they see 
Um, they've had a lot of failed attempts at, um, you know, therapy or this kind of thing in, in the past. Mm. So they're kind of like, no, that's not going to work. And they're already a little bit out the door. So when when uh, an individual comes to see me, it's actually quite fun for me because yeah. I'm working with just the woman or just the right. man. And it just speaks to how powerful this stuff is yeah. because we don't really need both partners on board right away right. from the get-go. You well, know, we can if anything, go from a, lo one end. a lot of the lessons that you learn from these relationships, you learn them after the relationship and with time and this perspective that it takes you so long to get to, you're offering kind of like a perspective, a, you know, an, an outer perspective and you're able to kind of like get me there quicker, right? Get me to these conclusions about what went wrong, what happened, because these lessons, when one just kind of like goes back and just, you know, crawls back in bed and cries about it, you know, it takes a while to get there. But with this kind of coaching, you can get to these, uh, to, to, to the synthesis, I guess, yeah, quicker. Yeah, to the core. And, you know, that's the other thing that I love about what I do is that I get to say what they really need to hear, mm. you know, and sometimes that's hard for them to hear. Right. Um, I, I hold them accountable to who they want to be. And see, um, I, I, that's interesting yeah. that you bring that up because one of the words that, that was coming into my mind was, and I was wondering was, do you get resistance pushback from these clients? Because sometimes even though people want to grow and, you know, learn and achieve, there is that internal saboteur, if you will. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I'm sure you Absolutely, have to deal with because that. because that's part of our wiring and yeah. some of the stuff that we've been conditioned with from sure. childhood or other Which is the fight or flight, which is totally what gets triggered in a, in a moment like divorce, right? The mm -hmm. fight or flight. Are you mm -hmm. going to stay or are you going to leave? So you're dealing with people as they are in the throes of that kind of... Uh, Exactly. aspect of their personality. And, and when you say fight or flight in, in the throes of divorce, that is what has led up to this place in the first place. You right. know, it's like those many little fight or flight experiences that have led you here. So one of the things that I do is I teach my clients how to um, control that automatic response right. and to the keep it in the check. lizard brain. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well, there's so much we could talk about with, with relationships. And Jessica, I really appreciate you coming on the show today. We got a break for news, but I do want to get uh, people over to you. So, is, what are the best ways to get in touch with you? Uh, so, my website is jessicahartley.com. You can also call or text at 661-347-8473. And um, I'd be happy to just discuss, you know, the, where you're at, and, um, and then we go from there and kind of see if it's a fit. And I have a, a few different options as to how closely we work together. Um, so then we kind of just take it from there. That's cool. That's cool. And, and of course, mention your website one more time. JessicaHartley.com. And if you go there, there I have a complimentary uh, relationship assessment. And as you well. also do a show here on the air on, on KCS. Yes. yes. Yeah. Right. So go to hometownstation.com to learn more. Uh, it's 329 now. Let's take a break over for news. We'll be back with more after this. You're listening to 98.1 FM, AM 1220. This is your hometown station. KHCS, Rick G. and Fernando Del Torre, back after this. <laughs> 